In 2024, coding four hours a day changed my life. I went from being okay at coding to a pro. Went from earning $100,000 a year to $300,000 a year and even started mentoring others. Here's how it all happened from start to finish. Heading into 2024, I had a full-time job as a software engineer at a big fintech company in New York City. Some people will call this the dream job. I luckily didn't get laid off and spent most of my work days doing research and meetings and sometimes coding. Yep, I'm as surprised as you, sometimes coding. Being a full-time software engineer doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be coding all day. Sometimes you gotta do a lot of research, a lot of meetings, and days like those, you're only coding one to two hours per day. While experiencing this, I knew I wanted to code more, not because I love coding, but because coding is a skill that can be used to create websites and apps that can earn you a lot of side income. This $3,000 a month apartment isn't gonna pay itself. Mark Lowe makes $1.2 million a year from a template he coded and sells to other programmers. This 17 year old makes $12 million a year from a calorie tracking app he built. That's life changing. And to change my life, first I need to become the ultimate weapon. I spent some of my daily four hours coding blocks learning new frameworks such as Next.js and TypeScript while bettering my understanding of web automation frameworks such as PubTier.js, Node.js, and Playwright. Once January was over, I teamed up with some developers in Dubai to create my first ever SaaS called InstaDM. I used PubTier.js and React to build a tool that was able to send mass Instagram DMs to a list of Instagram profiles. This was a tool created so businesses can promote their product to the masses very fast in an automated way. The UI was pretty nice and Stripe API was used for payment processing, but I failed to make this a product that was easy to use. Not all users are the smartest. Luckily, I partnered with some influencers and got to 3.5K a month in revenue at its peak. While creating InstaDM, I also continued my development on a bot slash agent that helps servers book shifts at hotels. I used React and Tailwind CSS to build this UI. This bot went from earning $2,000 a month in revenue from the beginning of 2024 to $9,000 a month at the end of it. Pretty sick. With two products under my belt and a much stronger understanding of JavaScript and other programming languages, I was finally becoming this ultimate weapon that I was dreaming about. But then reality struck. I'm a full-timer still. With work picking up, I was using Java on the daily. The four hours of coding were now four hours of Java hell. Anytime I saw a coffee cup, I immediately thought of Java. It was getting pretty bad. With little me time, I was getting rusty on some of my React and Next.js. Luckily, InstaDM and my shift bot were bringing an income for me that rivaled my full-time salary. As work started easing off and I was able to code four hours a day on things that I actually enjoyed very much, I was able to reactivate what was already working for me creating more bots. Because I coded four hours a day, I was able to build bots at much higher speeds. I would get paid two to three thousand dollars to build a bot that would take the average developer 15 hours to make. But for me, it only took four, the equivalent of one Saturday coding block. And if you do the math, that's about 500 to 750 bucks an hour. Yeah, that's, that's insane. By midsummer, I had launched about seven different bots. Some only lasted a month before the users no longer needed it while some last for multiple months, earning me an additional $2,000 a month on average. At this point, $15,000 revenue months weren't rare at all. And that's when one of my best income sources came about, my mentorship. I became this ultimate weapon, posted videos on it, people noticed it and wanted to join in on the fun. In March, I began teaching people how to code bots using the same tech stack I use. Node.js, Pup.js, HTML, Tailwind CSS, React, and so on. Waitlists were full and people were willing to pay me $3,000 a month to teach them. My imposter syndrome was roaring, but seeing students get full-time jobs, make thousands of dollars every month learning this skill, I really felt like I was making a significant change in other programmers' lives. By September, I had strong knowledge of database design, front-end and back-end development, payment processing, and anything else you need to create a full-stack app. But the next step was AI. You see, I was always good at Python, but I never used OpenAI's API. And I was like, you know what? Maybe it's time to dabble in some AI into my four-hour coding block. I had a client from Saudi Arabia who was paying $2,000 for a program that could generate a QR code with a famous city as a background, with the city's landmark in the middle. Through this experience, I learned a lot about prompt engineering and OpenAI's horrible image generation, Dolly. But then in November, I decided to do something extraordinary create a new app that was unlike anything I've created in the past. This app allows users to add Instagram-like stories to their website, which leads to more conversions and sales. While I did not earn any income from this in 2024, I'm looking forward to 2025 for this to be the year of pin drop stories and really being on every single website possible. I'm excited to grow this product and build my programming skills and ultimately see where 2025 takes me. Follow along to be a part of the journey.